Yo, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video on the channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. So today, guys, we're going to be playing some Dungeonborn. Absolutely fantastic game, this. Enjoy the live gameplay commentary where, yeah, I do surprisingly well, guys. Enjoy. Okay, so I've got all my heals this time. Because the majority of the time I die on this game because I've not got enough heals. It does feel incredibly difficult. But hopefully this time, guys, we're going to start using our shield. We're going to start healing regular. The inventory management system isn't as simplistic as what it should be. I think... Oh, I didn't even hear him. Let's see. We need to get our battle rage on or whatever it's called. Get some life steal. But no, as I was saying before, that evil skeleton um, got in the way was that the inventory management system needs a bit of work. Like, whenever I'm picking the um, equipment up, it should automatically default to the compare box to be up. It shouldn't be that every single time I have to press it on. It should just be a simple toggle. Press it once, and then it's always showing me. That breaks his shield thing, but... I thought some... Oh. I thought somebody else was hitting me. Right, Battle Rage again. Oh, a blue. Come on, be nice. Okay, a thousand coins. So if you've not really heard about this genre of game, it's kind of like a dungeon extraction looting game. So you basically start off with nothing, pretty much, apart from a sword and a shield. And you go into the... Well, you, you kind of go into these dungeons or whatever you want to call them. This is a castle level. There's another level as well. You basically go around, you loot, you kill enemies, enemies drop, loot, other players are also in. However, in my experience on this game, I have a lot less interaction with players compared to Dark and Darker. It's kind of a bit more PvE than PvP, but it is a mixture of both. And yeah, so you go in and then eventually you'll extract out at one of the extraction portals. And, oh, these are easy. Yes, yeah, so you extract out, and then once you extract out... You sell the gear, you craft, do whatever you want with it to then enable you to get better gear. However, if you do die while you're in, you lose everything. You know, it's your typical extraction looter game, you know, like all the other popular ones out there. And I do like this kind of style as well, like, you know, the style of gameplay. It's not futuristic, it's not military, it's kind of like good old... You know, swords, magic, mysterious magic, alchemists, witches, you know, werewolves, all that kind of shit. And it's kind of like a good genre for this game, in my opinion. Same as Dark and Darker. It's a shame that Dark and Darker got removed off Steam. If Dark and Darker was on Steam, I'd play that game as well. But I think there was something going off between... The development team and some else, some legal stuff going off, so they removed it. I think you can still play Dark and Darker on through a torrent or something, but I'd rather not. This game does actually feel like it runs better. <laughs> I remember the first time I ran into these rats. The bats and the flying things are more annoying than anything. But yeah, once you learn the enemy's attack patterns and how to deal with them. They do get a lot easier. But it is a very, very difficult game, this. As soon as you pick it up, you will die a lot. But again, it's another one of these little gems. There's so many free-to-play games on the market. Now, I've, I've never known the free-to-play market be as good as what it is now. There's a lot of free-to-play, good free-to-play video games, and this costs nothing to play at all. You can get everything in this game just by playing it. There's nothing behind a paywall, apart from, you know, cosmetics. But everything in the game is free. And we are actually playing, guys, as well, on the easiest level, like a one-star level. The thing is, though, with this game, the game's guide is terrible. It tells you the very basics, but... Like, at the main menu system, we don't want to aggro everything here. On the main menu, it, like, has different stars. It doesn't tell you 
Like, well, what's one star mean? What's two star mean? What's three star mean? What's four star mean? I'm just assuming it means difficulty, but the game itself doesn't tell you. It's a bit annoying. I'd, I'd expect better. You know I'm very critical on stuff, guys. We just want to aggro one of them. That's nice. Always try to aggro one at a time. Let's see. Come over here. We're going to throw an incendiary bomb at you or whatever they call. Do a bit of burn damage. Then we're going to hit you a bit. We're full health, so we don't really need to use our battle rage, which is our Q ability. It disappoints me that games like this don't come out on console. Like, this would be an ideal game, because it's not technically, you know, difficult, you know, to make this game. It's kind of like the lower end of everything, graphics, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just a very simple game, so there's no reason for this not to be on console and to have full crossplay. Same as Dark and Darker. That wh why has that not got crossplay? There's no excuse now not to have games full crossplay, unless it's something where you really do need a keyboard and a mouse for. We don't really need a keyboard and mouse for this. Okay, I just want to make sure nobody's behind me because a lot of times when I'm playing this game, guys, I always make sure I shut doors. Oh, well, let me shut the door. Oh, great! Now these ghoul things are coming at me, which I have. I struggle seeing. So we need to try to hit it as much as possible while we had our um, life steal up, our Q ability. Why is it not letting me shut the doors? Shut the do Oh, here we go. So I've had so many times people have snuck up on me. You would only get a lot of jewellery here and stuff on the sides. So yeah, as you're going around, obviously, you're meant to loot as much as possible. The more expensive stuff, the better. Oh, there we go, a ritual scroll. But guys, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more Dungeon Born, Dark and Darker on the channel, please leave a like as well. That'd be fantastic. Getting a lot of support as well recently, so a big thank you to um, you know everybody who's been um, you know watching my videos, commenting and stuff. Really, really appreciate it. I think I've spent way too many years just, you know, talking negatively about Call of Duty, what I've not liked for years. And it's nice now to actually be making content on games I actually enjoy playing. Oh. That is another player. Just going to see what's in here and then we're going to go and have a look. Hopefully it's somebody who's garbage at the game like me, so I don't get absolutely destroyed. We should be, because I think this is the easiest thing to do. Maybe somebody's watching this video who knows more about Dungeon Born than me. Tell me about the stars. Oh, here we go. It's go time. Hopefully this guy's not got much elf. Boom. See it. Battle rage on. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to knife me a hundred times. Not today, son. Not today. Not today. There's nothing else around. Let's have a look what he's got. Come on, have some nice loot. He's not got anything amazing. But to be fair, nobody's going to have any amazing loot. Because I'm playing on, I believe, the easiest difficulty setting for the PvE. Again, I've not played this game. Like, early access release come out a few days ago. I've never touched this game ever before. So we'll continue to loot. We've got what? In the top left, you can see on the map, we've got what? Around six minutes to actually get our way out of here. Otherwise... We screwed and we just lose everything, I believe. I've never actually timed out on this game. On this version, you don't have, like, the typical, like, circle where it closes. You do on some of the other difficulties on, on, on this game, but on this one, you don't. I don't know if it just gets to zero and then that's it, you lose everything. Again, I'm new to this game. I just kind of think that this game low-key... Hasn't got as much hype as what it deserves, in my opinion. Maybe it's just because I'm a bit of a fanboy of this kind of, like, knights in shining armor, witches, magicians, wizards, you know, that kind of a vibe, that kind of a genre. I love the whole armor, swords, shields, spells, all that kind of stuff. It's, like, my kind of go-to. You know, a bit like Elder Scrolls, stuff like that. You know, Elden Ring, that kind of vibe going off. Nice. 
well, where's that door then? So on the map there, you can see the blue door. That is a door what is always open where you can always extract from. Yeah, we don't want to go down near the, that big guy. I've made that mistake before. Where's that blue door then? Is there another level below me or something where that... We'll have a look. But as the game progresses, guys, you get more and more escape portals. What's spawning? You'll see it at the top right of the screen where it says, you know, escape portals spawning. And, and they just keep going and going and going um, until the end. So it's not like there's only a limited amount. They just keep on spawning in more and more and more, giving you a greater chance to actually escape. Because the maps are quite big on this game. I don't know how many people load into a game as well. I don't know how many. Maybe six? Maybe eight? I don't know. And the beauty of this game is everybody's playing solo on what I'm doing. You can go on to something called challenge mode where everybody's 3v3. You can even go in as a solo versus squad, so to speak. But no, me. One, one for one. Yep, my son's just come in and told me. They're having pancakes downstairs for breakfast. Thank you, son. Um, so we need to kind of... I think we just go through here. Just see what happens. Oh, there we go. There, there's one of those portals I was talking about. I'm closing the door because I've had it happen before where people have snuck up on me. So basically, guys, you get to one of these and then you can extract out. It does take a while. Now, because I've got a ritual scroll, it doesn't actually show that I'm doing this on the map. But... If I didn't have a ritual scroll, what I've come across, it'd actually notify all the other players on the map that I'm trying to escape. But again, it only takes like 10 seconds, so. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's an introduction to Battleborn. Um, like you can see here, you can actually go around after and look at players. Like, everybody looks straight up garbagey. I don't know why it's lagging. It doesn't normally lag, to be fair to the game, so this isn't a true reflection. So, yeah. That is um, a typical game. Obviously, there's a leveling system on this game as you go up. Um, so, I don't know what else to go into at this point. Um, we can probably look at the merchant, the alchemist, um, and the heirloom. So, you can go to this guy to, like, you know, um, scrap your gear, which will then give you um, crafting materials in game, so then you can craft better gear. As you can see there, there's the three different rarities, what you can craft. Um, I don't know why it's not crafting those um, white ones. Maybe they just can't craft the very, very shittest. Um, the alchemist, so you can craft healing potions here and stuff. What you pick up throughout the mission, those little blood vials, you can make bandages or healing potions, which you need when you go in. And then you can go to the merchant and just sell everything of value. And then you can use that cash or those coins if you want. Um, to buy better gear, so you don't just have to, um, you know, craft gear. You can actually buy it off the marketplace as well using your coins. So, yeah, Dungeon Born, fantastic free-to-play game. There's a lot of free-to-play games out there, um, and I just think that gaming's not as bad as what everybody's making it out to be. Maybe AAA gaming is really, really bad now um, because they just focus purely on monetization. But games like this, you know, it's free-to-play, it's accessible. I just wish they'd make a lot more of these free-to-play games available across all platforms. Because this is a wonderful game. As I was talking about at the beginning, look, I, I went on casual with a one-star. But what's the difference between casual with one-star and casual with three stars? What's, you know, the difference between casual one-star on this map and casual with two-star on Sinner's End? You know, I've tried clicking on the Mithril Order, and it just match makes forever. It never puts me into a game. So there's all little things like that, which the game doesn't really explain to you. Um, so it'd be nice, like, you know, if there was somewhere for me to go on the internet to actually figure all of this out. Because at this moment in time, there isn't. Um, and as a new player, I actually want to know everything before I even start trying to play the game. So a bit of constructive criticism there towards the developers at the end of the game, but... Sorry, at the end of this video. But nonetheless, guys, absolutely fantastic game. Really, really fun. I like the fact that it's solo. I know there's obviously you can have teams of two and three um, on different modes. But I, I at least like they've catered towards the casual player base. And they've made it more about PvE than instead of PvP. I always like the game's pri primary kind of like goal is to kill 
you know, PvP, sorry, PvE stuff. So you're killing skeletons, you know, bats, whatever, mongooses, you know, tree people when you're on a certain part of the map, werewolves. I like that being more of the focus than just killing other players, which is great. Because PvE games for me, uh, maybe in my stage, maybe I'm just a bit older now, I think PvE games are definitely better than PvP games. I, I just think PvP's never been as sweaty as what it is. But again, that's all subjective. That's my opinion. It's not objective. But what is great is this video game, guys. If you've got a PC, go and check it out. It's a lot of fun, and hopefully at some point they bring this out to console. All right, have a great week, all. Thank you again for your support. Goodbye for now.